Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Plankton almost got the Krabby Patty formula. Steamy. Being evil is too much fun! Oh, darling. <laughs> I knew mean, nothing would ever tear us apart. And you can have as much root beer as you can drink! For this list, we're looking at the times where Plankton nearly got his hands on the Krabby Patty formula before it was snatched out of his grubby hands. Which of the tiny vermin's plans was your favorite? Sound off in the comments below. Number 10. Equipping a patty with maximum overdrive This training video is chock full of memorable and quotable moments, and one of them is when Plankton sabotages the shoot. Emergency situation. When SpongeBob guards a Krabby Patty, it suddenly grows robotic spider legs and begins walking away with Plankton riding on top. Only one problem, he doesn't even have it running at walking speed. So in hindsight, what difference could a maximum overdrive mode really make? Not when I shift into maximum overdrive! He's easily captured and flicked out of the Krusty Krab. The only way a turbo button could have given him a clean getaway is if it had rockets on it. But something tells us that that would have been a pointless investment too. <laughs> Number 9. Controlling SpongeBob's Brain In his debut episode, Plankton got remarkably close to getting the formula through a simple scheme. As SpongeBob sleeps, the dastardly microscopic organism crawls inside his head and takes over his brain. What kind of friend are you? After barging through several walls, Plankton manages to get a Krabby Patty over a machine that would dissect the burger, thus revealing the ingredients. However, SpongeBob's final words to the patty entice Plankton to jump out of his yellow cranium, bouncing off the patty and into oblivion. Steamy goodness. Steamy. Hey, turns out Plankton isn't completely evil, just a bunch of gas. Plankton, 1% evil, 99% hot gas. Number 8. Recruiting Criminals Doesn't this count as cruel and unusual punishment? One would think an extra pair of eyes would be enough to watch our single-eyed cell in his cell. But Plankton got pretty far with his own posse of crooks. We need to bust out of this joint! One of his more recent hijinks, Plankton learns that his creation of Chum has helped a group of criminals carry out their mischievous deeds. Enlightened, he puts together a jailbreak and has his new lackeys storm the Krusty Krab. Just when he's about to steal the formula, it turns out that the formula was just a fake wall and Krabs had stuffed the Bikini Bottom police in his safe. So close. Nothing can stop me now. Except the law. Number 7. Karen's Gift you know, we're starting to believe that Karen is too good for Plankton. Oh, you selfish green twig! It's our wedding anniversary! With their anniversary on the horizon, Plankton enlists the help of SpongeBob to find Karen a gift. We later learn that she got her husband the best gift he could ever receive, the Krabby Patty formula. It was easy to accomplish, too. All she did was order a patty. One Krabby Patty, please. <laughs> However, just as she finishes uploading the formula, Karen starts crying and ends up short-circuiting herself. And so Plankton is left to deal with Karen's emergency mother-in-law program. E-M-I-L-P. What's E-M-I-L-P? Emergency mother-in-law program. Oh no. Number 6. Pretending to be SpongeBob's friend. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. Try it! N is for anywhere at any time at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. Fun is fondly remembered for a certain tune, but it was also one of Plankton's easiest attempts at stealing a Krabby Patty. Throughout this episode, we see Plankton slowly adopting SpongeBob's friendly and outgoing attitude. Why can't you just accept our friendship? But it's after a brief confrontation with Mr. Krabs when we finally see it has all been a ruse. While the newfound friends watch a movie, Krabs outs his competitor in front of the whole theater. He appears guilty of deceiving SpongeBob first, but of course, Plankton shakes off his remorse and tries to escape with the Krabby Patty through the movie screen, and fails miserably. Being evil is too much fun! Oh, darling, <laughs> I knew nothing would ever tear us apart. Guess Plankton doesn't know how movie theaters are built. Don't you know what's behind these screens? Solid concrete! 
Number five, recruiting his family. Welcome, brethren. Sure, family will always have your back, but anything can happen when it comes to stealing the secret formula. And you can have as much root beer as you can drink. Surprisingly, Plankton and his cousins successfully invade the Krusty Krab and crack open Krabs' safe. Just when it seems like our evil mastermind is about to reveal all the ingredients that make up a Krabby Patty, we're presented with a shocking revelation. Plankton? I warned you. <laughs> yeah, we'd be screaming and running too. Thing is, though, the formula was a fake. Perhaps Plankton should try looking around Krabs' home first before breaking into the Krusty Krab next time. Number four, switching places with Mr. Krabs. Ever wondered what life would have been like if Plankton and Krabs had switched places? I'm in the Krusty Krab. <laughs> and that means the life switcher was a success! The Krusty Krab is mine! Corporate casual! Well, we got a glimpse of it here, but it wasn't as pretty of a picture as we were inclined to believe. Even though Plankton finally owned the formula and ran a successful business, life had gotten more hectic for him. He's forced to endure Squidward's constant complaining, Pearl's teenager habits, angry customers, and of course, SpongeBob. Soiled it! Soiled it! It all becomes too much for him to handle, resulting in him reversing his entire decision. Holographic meatloaf over a naked Mr. Krabs any day. Good grief, he's naked! Number three, faking a change in behavior. One could say this was just a repeat of fun, but this went on longer than anyone expected. Our evil genius adapts a kinder, more mild-mannered attitude and begins living a normal life exempt of sinister schemes. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this new life of novelty items. Mr. Krabs tries to catch him in the act several times, but fails and ends up looking like the bad guy. Can't you understand? I've wasted so much time chasing after you. And now I have something that's mine. Believing Plankton has finally changed, Krabs decides to share the secret formula with his once good friend. Life is good, Krabs. Sure is, buddy. Sure is. Yeah, baby! To no one's surprise, Plankton quickly diverts back to his regular self, only to find out that he's once again been outsmarted. Gotcha. I never give you the formula! <laughs> Number two, Robo Crabs. It's a fantastic evil plot in a fantastic episode. I went to college! Imitation Crabs features Plankton's funniest and most desperate attempt at nabbing the Krusty Krab's most prized possession. Your ruler, your master! <laughs> Having distracted Krabs with a runaway penny, Plankton operates a robot version of his rival in order to try and get SpongeBob to tell him what makes a Krabby Patty. To his dismay, our poorest pal puts him through all sorts of rigorous tasks and still doesn't reveal the recipe. <laughs> When SpongeBob believes the real Mr. Krabs to be the imposter, he hands the formula to Plankton only to accidentally activate the coin slot self-destruct sequence. Why'd you even install this, man? Uh, uh. This must be your lucky day! Self-destruct coin slot has been activated. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Reporting Krabs for illegal sales of Krabby Patties. So, Mr. Krabs is operating under the table, huh? Cops, I need you! Impersonating Gary. <laughs> Winning SpongeBob in a card game. You work for me now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Plan Z. This will forever be known as the moment where Plankton succeeded in not only nabbing the formula, but conquering all of Bikini Bottom. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie sees Plankton carry out a mission known as Plan Z, which involves stealing King Neptune's crown and pinning the crime on Mr. Krabs. 
It's lemon scented! With SpongeBob out of the way and crabs frozen, Plankton nabs the formula, sells patties at the chum bucket, and soon dupes everyone in town with bucket helmets, allowing him to take over the town. <laughs> Who can stop me now? He is foiled in the end, but hey, at least he was defeated by a tasty jam. I'm free! I've been free! What? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.